Welcome to Starfleet Command, Lieutenant Commander. I am Captain Sulu. I've been asked to take you through your final simulated exercises. We're going to teach you how to command a starship and how to handle yourself in a fight. First, let's do a quick review of a ship's basic interface and controls. There are two viewport settings available. Press the D key to toggle the 3D view screen between tactical and full screen views. Ah yes, the beauty of space draws the spirit, even in this simulator. Space is often dangerous. Ready the never sail for battle. Press R for red alert. Red Alert sets all stations aboard a starship to combat readiness. Shields are brought online, the phaser capacitor is fully charged, and the photon torpedo launchers are loaded with normal warheads. At the lower left corner of the display is the Neversail's throttle and speed indicator. Let's bring the Neversail up to a helm speed of 10. To turn the Neversail, Left click on the 3D star field on either side of the ship's current heading. Two freighters have been added to this simulation. Target one of the freighters by right clicking on the ship or the ship icon. Another method of targeting is to use the T key to cycle through all ships within sensor range. Good. Now that you have the basics of helm control and targeting, let's blow something up. To fire on a target with your currently selected weapon, press the Z key or click the fire button on the lower right-hand side of the viewport. Destroy these two freighters.
I'm sure you're anxious to learn more about your weapons, and if you're not, you should be. I have crippled all of your faces. Because in this tutorial, we're going to teach you about the Photon Torpedo Launchers. Photon Torpedoes are powerful weapons. Only a handful of weapons are able to blow through shields and break through a ship's hull as effectively as a photon torpedo. Photon torpedoes have two major drawbacks. They have a narrow forward firing arc, and they require more energy and charging time compared with phasers and disruptors. Click on the photon torpedo launcher that is currently blinking. The pie chart on the photon torpedo display indicates that weapon's firing arc. Click the All Weapons button. It is blinking now. One freighter has been created for you to destroy with your photon torpedoes. You will have to maneuver your frigate so the targeted freighter is in front of your ship when you give the command to fire. You will also get a feel for the recharge rate of the photon torpedo launchers. The distance to your target is displayed below the target in units of 10,000 kilometers. Thus, a distance of 2.5 is 25,000 kilometers.
In some situations, you might face dire circumstances. In that case, you might decide to use the overloaded warhead option for the torpedoes. Click on the photon torpedo launcher that is currently blinking. Click on the overload button that is now blinking. That particular photon to overloaded torpedoes can only be fired at short range. They do twice as much damage as normal torpedoes and may cause feedback damage to your ship. Overloaded torpedoes also cost more energy to prepare and cause significantly more wear on the photon torpedo launcher. Click the all weapons button. It is blinking now. Go ahead and experiment with overloaded photons. Now destroy one more freighter.
our weapons may be grouped for linked firing commands. Click the All Weapons button. It is blinking now. Press and hold the control key, then press the one key. What you have done is set all weapons to the weapon group one. Click on the photon torpedo launcher that is currently blinking. Hold down shift and then click on the other photon torpedo launcher that is currently blinking. You have now selected the two photon launchers. Again, press and hold the control key, then press the two key. Now you have set those photon torpedoes to weapon group two. Press back and forth between the one and two keys. Notice the selection brackets change, indicating which weapons you have selected. To fire just those photon torpedoes, tap the two key to select them as your weapon group. Then fire at your target. Let me re-enable your phasers so you can destroy another freighter while experimenting with weapon groups. A basic tactic is to fire your torpedoes at medium range, ranges two and three, and then wait until you're in close range to fire your phasers. Proceed to the next tutorial.